Ген. Для нас, европейцев, это нормально. Сегодня наш президент, ну, самый главный, который у нас, самый главный президент, Барак Обама, пообещал, что мы скоро вступим в НАТО. Пока, естественно, на правах американского прихвостня. Если есть возможность, друзья, вышлите, пожалуйста, мне книгу Гитлера «Майнкамп». А то у нас разметают. Бывало, утром выхожу на балкон и начинаю делать зарядку. От сердца к солнцу, вот так. И в Крыму люди хотят говорить по-русски. Отцепи, отставьте. На законном основании дайте им возможность говорить по-русски. Если никогда не будет делить наш родной страну. У меня еврейская кровь, я говорю по-русски, но я гражданин Украины. Я люблю эту страну. Не хочу быть частью другой страны. Россия и Украина, мы действительно братский народ. Я знаю миллионы, я, я знаю тысячи людей, которые живут в России, замечательные люди, одного цвета, одинаковая кровь. Мы все друг друга понимаем, независимо от языка. Government, that would be payback for the 2016 election. So this is the logical, maybe the inevitable end stage of Russia Gate. Now we should have seen this coming because they said it out loud years ago. Here's Adam Schiff from two years ago, predicting it, saying it. Watch this. As one witness put it during our impeachment inquiry, the United States aids Ukraine and her people so that we can fight Russia over there and we don't have to fight Russia here. So we arm Ukraine. Oh, the multifaceted Mr. Zelensky. Well, what can one say? I mean, he says one thing. And he says another. He talks out of both sides of his mouth by the looks of it. Hmm? Or as somebody says, both both cheeks are the same ass. It's incredible. But this is the evidence. Because Zelensky, right, people don't realise this, was voted by, by 70, over 70%, I think nearly 80% of people voted Zelensky in, in 2019, on a promise that he was going to bring peace to the eastern Ukraine. That was until he met Azov and Aden and all the other nice chappies from the right sector who basically turned around and told him, uh-uh, not happening. And of course, we mustn't forget our American colleagues in this. And then the other part of this version part on the front was Tucker Carlson because Tucker Carlson did a prologue the other day which was very interesting and there are pros and cons to that argument a lot more pros than there are cons could it possibly be that these people went so mentally insane with the Russia, 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 Russia narrative that they believed the smell of their own BS and because of that they determined to do that or here's another possibility that Tucker might have not realised that they, can't, they know they're not going to win the 2024 election So they've got to ensure the war happens now so it doesn't get stopped because they want revenge. And isn't it funny? All this really sort of ramps up and hypes up with Elon Musk doing what he's doing. And then we have the Roe v. Wade drop. Right on cue. Boom. Just like that. February the 19th. They've, uh, they've had that information and all of a sudden it drops. Convenient. Then that activates the lunatics and the psychopaths and the let's go burn cities down and the Antifa black mob. Yeah, they come out. Loud and clear they come out. So America's going to burn again. But do you know what? I have no sympathy anymore for you, America. You deserve it. I heard a great line the other day that if America goes unpunished from this, then God needs to apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah. America does need to. America needs to be punished. I'm sorry, but it does. It has brought misery to millions of people throughout the world's lives with their constant regime changes and bombing and killing of people. Instead of doing the right thing and staying out of it. No, 
the liberal hegemony. I mean, the other day we had the Congress, Pelosi and four other goons, including Schiff, yeah, turn up in Kiev. Yeah, mm, well, I struck my stuff. Hey, Mr. Fug when is Congress involved with Kiev? It's got nothing to do with the American Congress. The American Congress should be looking after America. Why is the American Congress in Kiev? I mean, anyone? Someone to give me an answer? No, no. No coffee today because I'm too pissed off of everything. I'm going to read something now from an article, um, and I'm going to link it below so you understand the kind of fuck up what we got going on here and how they know all this is going on in Ukraine and they're beholden to all of this, which is why it makes the people in the Democratic Party and the people in Washington, D.C., the most evil SOBs on this planet, and they need to be gone. For the rest of us to live in peace and quiet, these people need to be gone. And I'm sick and tired of the wincy Americans who have got no spine, no backbone, no nothing to do something about it. Sorry, telling you the truth. Because if you had the bloody Kohenis, you would have done something about your government. Are you ready? This is going to be horrible. The plastic bag looks as if it contains meat. But then a right leg is taken from it and placed surgically on the morgue table, followed by the left one. Then the torso. The head follows a gaping cavity where the brain used to be. But it is only when the gloved hand of the pathologist examines the tiny fingers of a baby aged between about 30 weeks that the full horror of what I am witnessing sinks in. The shocking scene was captured on a video of a post-mortem examination carried out on behalf of Ukrainian mothers who claimed their babies were stolen from them at birth. Tell me again what you're supporting in Ukraine. It's not democracy, so it must be baby killing. Because that's what you people are into, baby killing. Well, I'm going to say, I'm out of here for now. Catch you soon. Kleptocracy, the, clip, the guys who the kleptocracy.